Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a very, very simple fall makeup tutorial, starting out with my Smashbox Photo Finish in light. I am just, I applied this on my face already, and the CoverGirl 3-in-1 foundation. I already applied my simple face makeup just to get started with this look, and I'm just showing you. I blended it out with a Real Techniques buffing brush. Now to get started with the eye look, I am taking my Naked 3 palette, and I am going in with the shade Nooner. I wanted to go for a purpley, more mauve look, so I am blending that into my crease. It is important because that is a transition shade. So I'm still blending that out, and then I'm taking the color Trick just to use as my all over the shade, all over the lid shade. So I'm putting that all over my lid, and for some weird reason, it was not coming out as pigmented on camera, which I absolutely hate it, but it's fine. So going in with my Morphe Brushes palette, the Jaclyn Hill one, I'm taking these two purpley shades, and I want to blend those out into my crease just to give it a more defined look. I'm I'm first taking it. A I got this on red. <laughs> I also want to blend that out and then put it into my outer V just to define the look a little bit more. So as you can see, it's coming along a little more mauve -y. So now I want to get a little more precise and I'm going in in the outer V just to define that area. It's very simple, don't worry. It's just a lot of blending. I apologize for my voice, you guys. I am sick. Yes, for Thanksgiving, I'm sick. So I'm sorry. Now I'm going in my Wet n Wild color icon and I'm using that as a highlight just to highlight my brow bone a bit. I just wanted to define that a little bit more just to, you know, bring out those brows. So next I'm going in with eyeliner and I'm using the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper. I'm like really bad at recording eyeliner. I'm sorry, I apologize. I'm no way, I am in no way an expert at doing eyeliner. It's like one of the hardest things for me to do. Try to get that line right, so there you go. And I just wanted to fix all that up a little bit with some concealer, so I used the Maybelline Master Conceal in the shade Light. It's just a, a very more intense concealer. I like to apply that one first, and then I apply a lighter one over that. So that is just on my problem areas. As you can see, my pimples. I've been having a lot of breakouts lately. So I'm going to blend that all out with a Morphe brush. This is just a buffing concealer brush. And I also use my fingers under my eyes. I know it's probably not good to tug on my skin like that, but there I am doing it. So I don't always recommend that, guys, please. Now going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, I am just going to highlight the rest of my face. And I like this technique because I feel like it really highlights the face. It kind of brings it out more. Just going to blend that out with a, I believe I'm using a Real Techniques brush. No, I'm using a Sephora mineral powder brush, but this is just a, like a different kind of brush that you can use for different things. So I'm blending that out. And yeah, I can't believe I got sick for Thanksgiving. It's just, it's so bad but it was bound to happen. I had not been sick in a while. <laughs> so going in with my Shade and Light palette by Kat Von D, I'm taking the really light shade. I believe it's called Lucid, and I'm just gonna apply that to highlight my skin a little bit more, kind of set that foundation and everything. I wanted to fix a little bit of that eyeliner. <laughs> okay, and going back, I'm now going to contour with the shade Sombre, and I'm just taking a Morphe brush and blending that all out into this area. So you got to define that face a little bit. Sometimes I get a little too intense with this stuff and I make a huge mess and it just, I don't know. I actually like the way it came out this day though. So I'm just going to continue blending that because you do not want to have any harsh lines. And typically when I have harsh lines, I like to go back in with a lighter shade. So I took the shade... I believe it's called Lyric, and I just kind of put that underneath to kind of define it more. So now taking my Becca Champagne Pop highlight, I am going to highlight my cheekbones using a Morphe brush. These are just the Morphe fan brushes. These are really popular now. They are so good, you guys. So just going to put that on the other side, get that pop on my face. <laughs> and now I'm going to curl my eyelashes that are almost non-existent. 
And then on days that I don't use false lashes, I use three different mascaras just to get the right length and volume that I need because since I have such short eyelashes, so I'm going to go ahead and apply all three of those. As you can see, I got interrupted. <laughs> and so just continuing that. Next, I'm going in with the blush Baby Doll by Essence. I believe it's called Baby Doll. And I'm just going to apply that on my cheeks to give just a more pinky shade. I really like this blush and it's so affordable, you guys. So I wanted to add a little more shadow underneath my eyes. So I'm going back in with those two purpley shades that I used earlier. And just going to apply that underneath my eyes near my waterline. Not directly on my waterline though. I just wanted more of a pop of color. Just more of that purpley shade. I really liked it. So blending that all out, all together. I have this mauve look. And I actually really, really love the way it came out. So going in with the NYX Natural Lip Liner, I'm going to line my lips just so I can add some lipstick. This is just a natural, everyday process. Then going in with the shade Velvet Teddy by MAC, I'm just going to finish off this simple look. That concludes this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you guys next time. Let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll see you guys really soon. Take care. Bye!